Maybe you're trying to mint your own DRC20 token that you just deployed or someone else's before it mints out. How do we do that? First things first, DRC20.org. From here, we're looking at the Explorer tab, and this is because we need to make sure the token we're about to mint has not maxed out on its circulating supply. From the last video, you might remember that we deployed a new token called SAS. SAS has a circulating supply of 1 million, and zero have been minted yet. This is a perfect contender. First things first, I'm actually going to go in and click on the name here because I need to see what the limit per mint is. As you can see here, the limit per mint is 100 and the total supply is a million. So I'm going to keep that in mind, go back, and from the SAS page here, you have two options to mint. You can go here and click on this mint button, and you'll see that the token ticker is already pre displayed. Go in and plug in your wallet address. I'm going to grab from up here. Copy paste. Confirm the input. Choose the amount. Now remember, the, the limit per mint was 100. So I can put in 100 if I want to just get one mint. If I put in 200, it's going to require two mints. If I do 1,000, it's going to require 10 mints. You can see that this doge to pay number changes with how many factors of 100 I'm putting in because the limit per mint for this token is 100. Let's do 200. Check this box to agree to the minting fee. Check this box to confirm the accuracy of the data. And then check this box after you've read and agree to the terms of use. Click confirm, and it's going to give you this wallet address. We need to take this wallet address, copy, go up here to your wallet, send the exact amount of doge it asks you to send, 5.6, and next, and sign and send. Great. Your inscription message has been sent, and now you'll just need to wait for the inscriber to finish the process. The other way you can mint tokens is to head up over to the inscribe tab. Here, under the DRC20 header, make sure that the mint box is checked, then type in your DRC20 token. SAS is what we want. Once again, I'm going to do 200, and I'm going to input my wallet address. You can actually see your recent wallet address is here. I'm going to click confirm. Going to confirm the accuracy of the data. I'm going to use the service at my own risk because I've read the terms and conditions and agree to them. And now I'm here. I'm going to choose economy because I don't need priority. There's a minimum fee here of 10 Doge. So you can see that my two items are going to charge four Doge. So normally I would go all the way up to five items to make sure that since I'm paying 10 Doge anyway, I get maximum value for the amount that I'm paying. But this is just an example. So this is okay. I'm going to click confirm. It's going to take me to this page. It's going to ask me to send 10 Doge to this address. And as you're going to see here, this is exactly what we're going to do. Send, 10, next, and then sign and send. At this point, we need to wait for the inscription to go through. This can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes as we ensure that a reorg on Doge chain doesn't make your inscription invalid. This is a buffer for your safety and to make sure you didn't pay for something that won't arrive. 